All right, we can't wait forever. If you can hear me in the chat, write the number 52. Excellent, good work, let's begin. So we are going to talk about cloning in frame. Cloning in frame. Okay, so in the structure of bacterial plasmids handout, there is a manual for PBAD, okay? And I want to show you some important pages from that manual. The important pages are, one, this is where the map is. We've already looked at that. These pages, okay? These pages are very, very important. This page that has A, B, and there's a C, okay? So I, I want to talk about this and explain this. Okay, the topic here is cloning in frame. So this should be easy. We all know this. Codons are made of three base pairs. Okay, so something like, for example, ATG equals methionine. Okay, there are three quote unquote frames. There are three frames. So imagine I have a sequence, A, T, G, cat, uh, T, A, G. Let's do X, Y, Z. Okay. So frame one, frame one means methionine, histidine, stop codon, something. Okay. Frame two, frame two is TGC, A, T, T, A, G, X, okay? Frame three, frame three is G, C, A, T, T, A, G, X, Y, da, 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 okay? And there's no frame four. Let me show you why. Frame four. This is this, this marker is not working well. <laughs> we'll do orange. Frame four. Frame four is C A T, which is the exact same frame as frame one. So frame one equals frame four. So frame four doesn't exist. Okay. So there are three frames: frame one, frame two, and frame three. Okay. So there are three frames to read DNA. There are three frames to read DNA. Technically, there are six frames. Explain this to me. Why are there six frames? Why? Write it in the chat. Why are there six frames? So I just told you there are three frames and I drew them out. Why are there six frames? Yes, good. Forward and reverse. Very good. Xingji, Xingji Lin. Very good. Forward and reverse. Okay. So DNA is double stranded. Remember, DNA is double stranded. Okay. That means there's a five to three prime and there's one going the other way. Okay. And if there's a gene here, it can be read this way or this way. So frame one, two, three. Frame one, two, three, go this way. And frame, oh God, this is hard. <laughs> frame four, five, six, go this way. Okay. So there's technically, there's technically six frames. But when you're looking, if you're looking at a gene five to three, if you're if you are looking at a gene in five to three, then there are three frames, okay? Which are these. So above, I gave the example of cloning insulin, taking insulin and putting it into PBAD, okay? You have to be very careful. You must clone in frame. If you want the gene to be able to be read, you must clone in frame. So when you buy a plasmid, okay, when you buy a plasmid, so you pay money to a company and you buy a plasmid. Let's say you buy PBAD. You buy PBAD. 
Okay. You will not get one plasmid. You will get three plasmids. Why? So if you buy a plasmid, you will get three plasmids. Why? Write it in the chat. Why will you get three plasmids? This should be easy. Think about what I just explained. Okay. I just explained the three frames. Okay. Why will you get three plasmids? Each plasmid, okay, here's the answer. Each plasmid equals one frame. Yes, the three frames. You, we. Good job. You, we. Three frames. You'll get three, you'll get a plasmid for each frame. So now, now you can understand why. Look at this. Look at the name. A, B, C. This equals the three frames. Make sense? Three frames. So you can actually look at these. Let's look at the sequence, okay? So I gave you all the sequence. This is kind of blurry. So I'm just gonna show two. I'm just gonna show, show two, two plasmids, okay? So here is A, and this one is the B. Let's find a difference. So if we go to the start codon, it's blurry. I'm sorry that it's blurry. Let's look at the, here's the start codon. And in B, here is the start codon. The frames are important for the restriction enzymes. Okay, let me write that down. The frames are important for the restriction enzymes. Okay, so let's look at, so what I did is I took, I took this sequence here and I put it down here. And I took this sequence here and I put it down here. Okay, so it's a little bit clear. Let's look at it. JO1, JO1 equals a restriction enzyme site. Okay. The sequence for JO1 is C, T, C, G, A, G. It's a palindrome. C, T, C, G, A, G. This is called a palindrome. It's the same forward as it is reverse. Okay. And JO1 cuts DNA like this. Okay. So let's map out the sequence. This is PBAD A, and the site for JO1 is CTCGAG. So it's right here. This is JO1, a leucine and a glutamic acid. Let's look at PBAD B. Here, C T C C T C G A G. Here it is. Now it's coding for a serine and an arginine. Okay, so they're different. These are the three frames. So when you design, when you design your insert, when you design your insert, okay, you pick restriction enzyme sites. You must pick sites that will clone your gene in frame, okay? So you have the three frames. You need to pick the right A or B or C that will put your start code on so that it lines up with your restriction site, okay? It's kind of hard to understand, but when you clone, when you clone, you must do this, okay? So when you clone, you must pick the correct plasma, A or B or C, because two out of three will not work. Only one will clone in frame, okay? That's very important. Let's look at, let's look at these pieces. I'll get a sharper, sharper image here. Negative 35. So, so let's look at this. Let's look at this and pick out the elements. Here's the start codon, ATG, codes for methionine. Polyhistidine region. This is the his tag. His, 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 his. The codon is cat, 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 cat. Okay. Here's the multi-cloning site. These are the restriction enzymes. Negative 35 and negative 10, those are sites in the promoter. 
Okay, so if I was to write this out, it's a little bit blurry, but negative 35 and negative 10 are promoter elements, pieces of the promoter. Okay, what is this? RBS, 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 RBS. What is that? What is the RBS? Write it in the chat if you know. Yes, good. Ribosomal binding site. Very good. GG way. The answer is, oops, the ribosomal binding site. Okay. So this is part of the transcript. Because here's the promoter. Here's where RNA polymerase will bind. And it will start making transcript. Okay. And this RBS is a ribosomal binding site that the ribosome binds. And then it right away sees the start codon. Okay. So again, the final idea is, this is the, the purpose of this lecture. The purpose of this lecture is to teach you how to read plasmids and read plasmid manuals. That's the purpose. So I think we're good. I think we understand this now.